Okay, I lied to you all. Cue the sad music. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. The temptation was just too strong. Okay, I'm kidding. First off, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for hanging out with me. Second off, if you couldn't tell by the title and probably the thumbnail, I read the second volume of Attack on Titan. <laughs> I just couldn't help it. I have been thinking about that first volume for a long time. And I know I was like, oh, I'll put it on the wheel and we'll do... I'm still going to do the wheel. But listen, I had to read the second volume. And... <sighs> Boy, does this manga just keep picking up and picking up and getting incredible. Let's talk about Attack on Titan. Volume 2 of Attack on Titan was so good. Listen, okay, at the end of Volume 1, Eren got eaten by the Titan. I thought he was the main character. He still might be the main character because by the end of this volume, he comes out of the Titan. The... Seriously. <laughs> Seriously? It's so good. So really, this volume focuses on Masaki, which I am going to correct this now. I thought... She was his sister. Turns out, she has a backstory. Man, in three chapters, they make you feel for this character because she is such a badass, man. Listen, I read a lot of manga, as you know if you have checked out any of my videos on this channel. I read a lot of it. I collect a lot of it. She is one of the coolest most intriguing backstories of a character that I've read in a good long time. So this volume basically talks about, because they talk about how she can be so calm in crazy circumstances. They're fighting these titans and she remains so calm. And it flashes back to her backstory. And what makes her backstory so great, it actually gives a little bit of an insight into Eren too. Because he is a cold-blooded killer. <laughs> When he tells his dad, he goes, what? They were just animals that acted as humans. And you're like, oh, oh, oh no, oh. This man has a darkness in him that is crazy. But for Ackerman's backstory, she is with her family and they get a knock at the door and they're actually expecting Aaron and his dad ends up being intruders that end up killing her parents and taking her hostage. She is a child, like, very scared, nervous, and everything. But then Aaron breaks in, takes out one guy, gets picked up by the throat by the other guy, and she yells to fight. And that's when you realize why she is so calm. And she takes out the guy, and they rescue each other, and then it flashes back forward, and she says, well, as long as you're in this world, Aaron, I can do anything. Little does she know, he is not in the world anymore. Well, <laughs> well, he kind of is. But before we get to Aaron, which is something I need to talk about, let's talk about Armin and what I really enjoy what Attack on Titan is doing. It is showing you that in this world, it is dangerous. People get eaten. It is very cruel world, as Ackerman says. It's a very cruel world. But I think it is personified with Armin and his way of dealing with he watched his whole squad get wiped out by these titans. And you can actually tell for like what I think he is a side character, he is really emotionally going through it. And you feel for him with his panels and when his inner monologue is happening of just the depression and he feels useless and why didn't he die with Eren? And that's what's so impressive about Attack on Titan. Because I can't remember the last time in two volumes, two is the only amount of volumes that I've read, in two volumes to make you care for a core group of characters so quickly and to add so much depth and dimension to these characters so quickly. It's like 400 pages and I feel like I know so much about at least these three characters. And not only that, it has laid the seeds to know so much more about them. And that is why we have to talk about the best thing that happened because really this volume was them getting surrounded by Titans and just feeling this claustrophobia of they're not gonna make it out of here. None of them. It's all gonna go bad. Until 
a titan, starts killing titans. Man, listen. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so this titan is taking out titans. And he is taking them out left and right. And he looks completely different. Everyone just kind of been like, oh, it's, an, it's an, a mutation. An abomination of a titan. Not really thinking too much about it. And Ackerman kind of, because everyone's down on their luck. Again, they're, they're surrounded. And she does her speech because she finds out from Armin that Aaron didn't make it. And they think she's being brave and calm, but Armin actually points it out and says, no, she's acting irrational. And she runs out of boost. And she is kneeling down. Titans are surrounding her. And she talks about how it's a cruel world. And she's pretty much given up. But then the Titan protects her. And she realizes that he is not focused on them. He's focused on Titans. He also does not have a regeneration ability. After they finally get their gas that they need for their weapons to work, they go to leave, but they see this Titan get attacked. And Ackerman says, we have to save him. We, he might be an ally. And everybody's like, a Titan, an ally? You're out of your mind. But boy, this final panel. <sighs> Let's talk about it. Aaron was that Titan. Because he falls down. And he pops out of this titan from, like, his stomach. And his limbs are regrown. Because if we don't remember, he has, he's been eaten to pieces last time we saw him. When we thought he was dead. But yet he's not dead. Yet he has limbs now. <sighs> so much has happened in 300, 400 pages. So much has happened. Ugh. So can Aaron turn into a titan now? That's what I'm interested. Does he have the ability to transform into a titan? Or, did he control the Titan from inside like a robot, like a Megazord from Power Rangers? But I'm the first one <laughs> to be like, Attack on Titan, Power Rangers. Yeah, I see the connection. <laughs> and that's why I think this manga is doing so well, is laying seeds of this bigger world and these questions that we want answered. Again, what was Eren injected with in the basement by his father? I feel like that is the key that will unlock everything. And maybe that's where he gets that ability to either A, take control of a titan, or B, become a titan, which equally would be just as crazy. <sighs> Listen, I love what this manga is doing. I love that it can have a dark story. I love the tone and the world that it inhabits because it is a dark, depressing world. And I think it really does a lot with playing with the psyche of its characters and what it's like to grow up. Think about it. Grow up in this world of giant things that eat people. That you're always on guard. And the the mental strain that it puts on a person to live through that. And to try to not only that, build a life through that way you're living. And I think it shows with Masaki, Armin, and apparently Eren's back. I think all three of those characters are kind of incredible. Like there's this panel where it only doesn't show you the bottom half of the body. But this girl is giving the CPR like, oh, he's going to live. And Armin looks and sees that half the body is gone. And she's she's trying to save someone that does not have half a body because they're so mentally broken by these titans. And I just haven't read a shonen manga with the darkness and the depression on top of this incredible action. Because some of these action panels, when they're zipping through the sky, is incredible. It's so good to look at and the story is so interesting to read and the characters have so much depth immediately even in 400 pages and i think that's why i continuously think about it so like i said this was like a quick video just to be like hey i, I lied to you guys i actually read the the second volume and just had to talk about it i don't know if i'm gonna go volume by volume as i'm reading it but i promise you the the control that i have to not read this manga is getting in the way a lot of other video ideas that I've had. I'm going to be honest with you. This, is, this has gotten in the way of a lot of other video ideas that I've had because I've just been thinking, like, I really want to be reading Attack on Titan. It's, it's honestly a big issue. But it is so incredible, and I completely understand why the anime, and it has been so popular for so long. I'm so late to the party, I'm sorry. But yeah, that volume two, Aaron is a Titan. What? <laughs> it's so great 
It's so great. But yes, I know this was a short video. I apologize. I just really had to turn on this camera and scream in front of it. Attack on Titan is awesome. Like you didn't already know that though. Like uh, people have known that for years. I'm I'm like the part like hey hey guys have, have you heard Attack on Titan? Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> but yes, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And like I said, I guess let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue to do volumes of Attack on Titan. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to keep reading Attack on Titan. It's going to happen. So yes, for the last time, I'm sorry I lied to you guys. But but Attack on Titan was, was too strong. It's too powerful, I couldn't resist. <laughs> but yes, thank you for watching the entire video. I appreciate you wholeheartedly, like always. And I'll see you next time. Aaron popped out of a Titan. <laughs> what?